the person I was born as died. When I was baptized, I wasn't baptized to clean my body. That's what showers are for. I was baptized to demonstrate the truth that happened in my life, in my heart, the fact that I died with Christ when I believed in him. And when I came up out of the water, somebody else rose up, a yeah. new creation. Uh -huh. Ooh. All right. Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death. Oh, there it goes. I should have just kept reading. Uh -huh. See, I'm not lying. This is in the Bible. <laughs> Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in wow. newness of life. Life. For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him. Our old man was what? Crucified. That the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves of sin. Okay. Do we ever wonder if Jesus was really crucified? Do we ever think about that? Jesus, did you really get crucified? Maybe in the beginning of our walk, or maybe when things get tough, but after a while, um, you don't got to know him so much. You don't got to see so many things. You don't got to feel and experience and, 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 and see and hear so many things that line up with the word and that are just straight supernatural and kingdom that you don't, you don't want to think about that. You're like, of course he was crucified. Of course. That's why I was born in. That's why I'm in church. He was crucified. But it says you you were crucified. The old man was crucified with him. Now that's something that we usually forget, though. That the old us also was crucified with him. That's the key to remember. The old man died. The old man is no more. The old me is past tense. Right? 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Old things have passed away. When we do a funeral, we say, you know, we're here in the memory of so-and-so because they have passed away. What we're saying, bah! Well, if you were baptized before, you know, they could even had your funeral. Right? We already had our funeral. We died. Amen? So that's, that's the hard part of it. We could remember that he, crucified, he was crucified, but it's tough to remember that we were crucified too, right? And, and that's the goal of, of gathering. That's the goal of reading the word daily, you know, waking up early enough, not only to do your little push-ups, not only enough to, you know, uh, do your hair, you know, for an hour and a half, but wake up early enough to read the word. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to invest in this thing because it's not going to, nothing's going to happen on its own. And we know this when it comes to the natural, but it's like we feel like because it's spiritual, it's, we're not supposed to put no work in. You know? And, and it's true when it involves our spirit or our heart. Like, yeah, the Holy Spirit already came in us, and we're already one with Him. He already joined to our spirit. We're already sons of God in that way, in that form. And the flesh is still sinful flesh. So these things we can't change. I can't change my flesh, and I can't change my spirit. My flesh, Adam gave it to me. My spirit, Christ gave it to me. I can't change that. But what stays the same? Your mind, your soul. That's what we got to renew. Amen? Amen? Renew. So we got to put something new to it. Understand something new that we never understood before. Right? So let's get to it. Verse 7. 